Okay, three option plays that I'm trading this week. My first one will be Salesforce. Um, ticker symbol CRM. Salesforce actually has been a good one. I've traded options on before. I usually go in a bullish direction, but sometimes I'll do the iron condor and close out um, my put leg, my put uh, legs, and just keep the bear legs. If you look at this, look how it went down that that time, and then it came back up. But it's moving back in towards a a trend line of going up. Because if you look at the play, it's it's just bouncing like that. So I would go with a iron condor on this one on Salesforce. And let me go over here and show you how this will be. If we did an iron condor, I'm just going to move it over here. You move it down so you can see. So and I will go to the expiration date of October the 1st at the do a 270 put, sell a 270 put, buy a 265 put, sell a 280 call, and sell a 285 call, total credit of 344. Stock has to be at expiration at 270 in order for me to realize my profit of $345. Um, if it goes above 285 I lose 155 and if it goes below 266 I lose 155 so this is and I will close out if the stock hits below hits above 270 so I'm going to do this short iron condor here and my next so that will be my first one Salesforce and my next one that I like also that I've traded on will be uh, Deer Company, the e, the tractor company that makes the tractors. So let me show if I can pull up the chart and let you see it also is starting to trim back up. You know, I had a, a call. I bought a call, stupidly bought a call around this amount and then it dropped here. So I lost out on that call. So on this one, I'll pretty much do a, another um, uh, put credit spread, which allows me to risk at least get a $2.58 credit. And as long as it closes out at $285 before expiration, I'll realize my profit of $255 and my max loss will be $245. And Deer is a good company, uh, also good stock to own if you want to buy the stock. But I like to trade the options. They're cheaper and I can still, you know, make money on the on the uh on the stock without ever owning any shares okay my next one that i'm trading that everybody knows about is apple i mean apple is back i mean it for a while it was just trading sideways it wasn't moving at all it was just staying now look at the trend lines of this it's let me show you here it's going back up as you can see it's starting to pick back up so now is a good time to move into a, a bullish direction with it. It's been good over the last uh, five days. Let's look. No, well, no, it's been it went down and it came back up. But over the last month, it's really when it's starting to it was bouncing last three months. Yeah, last three months is it's really been going up. So I, I suggest this will be over 160 in a few months. So that's why I'm going to do a call debit spread on this one. Because you know the options are pretty cheap, so you want when they're cheap, you want to be a buyer. So if you look at this, um, let's see, let me scroll down so you can see my calculator. If I can bring it over, here we go. So I'm going to be at the, I'm going to buy a 155 uh, call, and I'm going to sell a 160 call. So as long as it goes up, let me, there you go. As long as it closes at 160, which is at 153 right now, I realize a profit of about uh, $338. If it doesn't, I'll lose 163, but that's a pretty good profit on the amount that you're risking, which is a dollar 63 per um, trade. See, my, max profit 337, max loss 163. 
So Apple, you know, also if you want to buy the shares, you can, but you can also make money off the uh, the rising of the shares just by uh, doing this debit spread right here. And those are my three um, cheap option plays that I'm trading this week. I recently closed out some options today, took some profit off QQQ. And these are my three, you know, see, it's going to be Salesforce, um, their company, ticker symbol DE and Apple, AAPL. So if you have any other questions, concerns, please comment, likes, subscribe and share, and I'll see you on the next video.